by the I way. I picked up for you. You read some of uh, that. What was that? No, no one fucks me by it. Yeah, you got damn right. <laughs> <laughs> now going to move to the closed press portion of our task force meeting, so thank you very much. Among the only press in the world that does this. Ugh, I am beyond the point of being physically ill anytime this bag of bones follows up what he says with seriously or not hyperbole or not joking. Look, I know the futility of constantly pointing out the media's hypocrisy, which they don't care about, and asking, imagine if Trump did it. But really, where's Jim Acosta or any of the other theatrical performers that were outraged anytime Trump talked back to them? It is very hard for me to defend the press that Biden is attacking here as not obedient enough enough because they're just such lab dogs for his regime. But maybe, just maybe, they're continuing to ask questions because nobody can get a straight answer from anybody at the White House, much less the talking mustard hot dog, as everything seems to be getting much worse. From the economy, to the country's unity, to the corrupt institutions, to World War III becoming a real possibility by the day. The president was responsible for gas prices coming down. Is the president responsible for gas prices going up? So it's a lot more nuance than that, right? Um, Peter, you know this. Uh, there have been global challenges that we have all have d d dealt with. When I say all, meaning other countries as well have dealt with since the pandemic. There's been pandemic and there's been uh, Putin's war. Not to mention Joe Biden openly launching a war on America's oil energy independence. And Putin's war uh, has uh, increase gas prices at the pump. We have seen that over the past several months. And what the president was able to do, uh, he took some historic steps. When you think about the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, and making sure that he, we were able to do everything that we can to bring that cost down. Oh, sure, sure. Everything except incentivizing offshore drilling in our own country, importing oil from nearby pipelines in Canada, incentivizing and making it easier to produce nuclear power, or ending the war on American oil and coal. But yeah, everything except all those things. This is much more serious than it looks, and it should be a giant scandal for the Biden regime. After draining our strategic reserves for a temporary and minimal price reduction, which was purely a political move in the first place, prices are predictably rising. With OPEC threatening to cut productions, the Biden regime unleashed a last-ditch effort to dissuade OPEC from cutting 1 million barrels. <laughs> so what happens if we do manage to get ourselves into another world war? With Putin annexing parts of Ukraine, mobilizing 300,000 troops, and everything generally escalating, the chances of NATO mission creep are almost guaranteed. If a major conflict erupts, we're going to need that strategic oil reserve. But unfortunately, we have a president that refuses to let America be energy independent. This is a situation that we did not need to be in, but we're currently being led by a fanatic environmental cult that has no qualms with destroying this country in pursuit of their agenda. But instead of outrage or concern from the media about a wannabe authoritarian attacking the press while putting the U.S. on a very self-destructive path, they prefer it to the mean tweets. Policy doesn't matter anymore to Republicans. This from the people who want to talk about anything other than Joe Biden's failed policies. They, and, and you, it's so funny, you hear, you hear uh, Republicans and right-wingers talking about how horrible Joe Biden is in press conferences. And sometimes he stutters, sometimes he stumbles around, sometimes he loses his train of thought. I'd stack that up, I'd stack that up against Donald Trump any day of the week. You serious? They're not even hiding it. They know he's a mess, even though they're trying to downplay it. These people literally think that unless Democrats and Joe Biden are in power, then democracy and even the earth are doomed. So they can justify it to themselves. All right, folks, that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share and subscribe, and always make sure to leave a comment to vet those frustrations. Thanks a lot.